Hello everyone and welcome. My name is iGamer2003 and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install and use Lightmatica. Lightmatica is the newest version of the Schematica mod and it is used um, for many different versions. Uh, but today I'm going to be downloading for 1.15.2. Uh, you guys can also download it if you go into the file section, I believe. Uh, yeah, there is already a 1.16 version released. And I'm not really going to be going too much into detail on how to use it. I just want to show you guys today how to get it set up. Uh, and this video is especially made for the at Dad Can Learn channel page because we do uh, have a schematic store so this video will be going up uh, as an instructional video for the schematic store so I'm going to be doing Windows if you guys are on Mac and you want to see a video I believe uh, dad can learn is going to be putting together a video because he uses Mac so this is gonna be the Windows version if you need a Mac version you can find it dadcanlearn.com slash schematics the videos will be up eventually there okay so let's get into this we're gonna go over the um, cursory things you need so you're going to need fabric mod loader fabric API the lightmatica mod and the malilib malilib literally that's what it is um, and these are what allows the mod to run properly so let's start off by downloading the fabric installer which is pretty easy to do you can go to fabricmc.net and I'm going to be putting the links in the description based on steps so this is step one downloading fabric so fabricmc.net link in the description below and it'll take you to a page like this and all you have to do is click use up at the top of the screen here and uh, download installer you could either do a universal jar file or a Windows installer I suggest if you don't have uh, something that can open a jar file which some people may not then you can download the windows.exe installer on a Windows computer okay once it downloads it's pretty easy uh, it downloads to your downloads folder if you do click download install a universal jar any jar file window will scan for viruses and say keep um, so you do have to make sure you click keep as long as it says fabric dash installer you are downloading a verified scanned um, system so you can go into your files here and you can uh, double click on the fabric installer and it'll open up a new window right here so as I said, it's already functional up to 1.16.1. Today I'm going to be selecting 1.15.2, uh, but you may use whatever version uh, you want the game. So if you're running 1.16 world and you want to use this mod, then make sure to download version 1.16.1. Uh, you can also download it for snapshots, but today, as I said, I'm using 1.15, and uh, make sure it downloads to wherever you want it. Make sure the uh, installation is your dot minecraft folder it automatically is uh, make sure you click create profile and then click install okay so it'll come up fabric loader for 1.15.2 has been successfully installed many mods also require you to put fabric API into the mods folder so we'll go download fabric API after we check to make sure this installed properly you can either click the link from the installer or just the link in my description. It's a non-affiliate link. It takes you straight to the site. Up to you. But we're going to quickly double check that this installed properly. And the way we're going to do that is we're just going to run our Minecraft launcher. And when I run my Minecraft launcher, you can see there is now a profile, Fabric Loader 1.15.2. This was not here before. Uh, I am purposely uh, doing this from scratch today. Okay, so once you have that done, uh, you can uh, close out of your Minecraft launcher. We won't need it again for this process. Now, we can also close out the Fabric installer. We won't need that again either. At this point, you're going to go to the Fabric API CurseForge website. And if you're using it for 1.16.2, you can just click the download button up here. If you're using it for a later version, you can simply click Files scroll down find the version you want 1.15.2 for me and click the download button next to it 
it will download automatically. And uh, if it doesn't, do not click here. Click here. Uh, but it downloads here. You can click Keep. Fabric API is there. So then we're also going to download two other files. So we're now going to go to the Light Matica website, which is another CurseForge website, and the same thing. Game version 1.16.1, so if you want that version, click download here. Otherwise, same process. Simply go to files, scroll down, 1.15.2, download. And keep. And then the final one is the Malilib, and you simply do the same thing game version 1.16. So you either download it here, or if you want an earlier version, go to files, find your version, and download it. Keep. And there you go. So you've got your three files lined up. These files are not files like the first jar or exe file where we need to open. These are going to be going into our Minecraft mods folder. So in order to open that folder, uh, on a Windows computer, you can click the Windows key on your keyboard and R, and it will open you up here to a uh, program called Run, and it's currently selected on Open, and you simply need to type percent app data percent and click enter when you show up since a dot is a special character it's the top of an alphabetical list so unless you have other dot folders which you most likely won't unless you have something like technic launcher installed dot minecraft will be right at the top so you can open your dot minecraft folder and once we're inside we're going to be needing to create two folders so we're gonna right click and uh, click new folder and the first molder fold molder folder is going to be mods all lowercase and you're going to create that folder now the next folder is going to be right click new folder is going to be again all lowercase schematics spelled c s c h e m a t i c s schematics enter so you can see it'll organize in alphabetical so we now have mods we now have schematics all right so we're going to go back to our downloads folder and we're going to select these three the fabric api the light matica and the melalib and we're going to uh, control c to copy we're going to click the back arrow here take you back to dot minecraft open up your mods folder and click control v at this point, next time you load up Fabric, you've got all the mods you need loaded right in here. So, now let's talk about getting schematics. Might I recommend dadcanlearn.com slash schematics. I don't think I have to say it anymore. dadcanlearn.com slash schematics. Bingo. And uh, my internet's going to be slow when I'm recording a video. Of course it is. Well, you know what? I might just do this. Let's just do. Let's just go straight to the Dad Can Learn homepage. And dadcanlearn.com. Internet is slow. There it goes. So, you can either go to dadcanlearn.com and then click on Minecraft schematics right here, or dadcanlearn.com slash schematics takes you to the same page. Here we go. So these are all the schematics we've got available. Some of them are purchased, some of them are free. Um, and so these are the schematics we have. You can check out his schematics, my schematics, or all schematics. Uh, this is his website, but we did partner on this project. So uh, there's some pretty cool stuff, like a redstone house, an iron farm designed by Nembom, even a handmade village. These are my three at the top, and he's got some awesome ones. We're going to be taking one that NJ built, and that is the Minecraft schematic for Pikachu. So when you click on it, we can uh, get sent to that website and download it. You guys can also make your own schematics or go to any other schematic website and find it. But I'm going to wait for this to load and I'll come back to you guys as soon as I have the schematic downloaded and I'm gonna show you how you load it into your uh, 
thing. Actually, let's just do it while we're on camera. So I can click free. Ah, yes, my info. Um, cool. So uh, you can put all your info in on the website. Again, if you use a different website, that's fine. But this is a great website. I highly suggest if you're looking for some awesome schematics, come here. It's cool. All right. Well, I'll be right back with you guys as soon as I download this. Okay, so you guys can see I went through the website. Whoops, okay. I now have Pikachu.Lightmatic here. Uh, so when we go to my downloads folder, here it is. It's just the white paper, Pikachu.Lightmatic. Also, anything dot schematic would work. So we're going to select this and control copy. And we're going to go back again to the mine dot Minecraft folder. Again, if you need to get back there, Windows R percent app data percent okay brings you straight here automatically this time though instead of going into the mods folder we're going to go into the schematics folder we created and paste it in at this point you can close out of your files you're done in there and we're now going to uh, reopen the minecraft launcher we're going to make sure we have fabric loader 1.15.2 and we're going to click play so at this point, we are going to load up Fabric Loader for the first time, and it's still going to be relatively fast. It's not going to take you very long. So at this point, uh, I will uh, be with you guys in just one second. I'm just going to get my Minecraft game to load up. We're going to jump on the Minefair server, and I'm going to load up this schematic for you guys. All right, so I'm back. If you look in the bottom, it says Minecraft 1.15.2 slash fabric modded. Now we can do this multiplayer or single player. So we're going to, I'm going to hop into my redstone testing world real quick. And let that load up. So once we're in here, I'm just going to show you guys the basics of bringing the schematic in. And, uh, you know, putting it in your world for you to build. All right, so we're now here in the creative world, and schematics can be used in creative or survival. Just know that some of the uh, features of the schematic mod will only be available if you are OP'd uh, on the survival server. If you are not OP'd, you're not an operator. Uh, some parts of this mod may not work for you. Okay. So, if we click M, we bring up the Lightmatica menu, and there's a bunch of different options. We have schematic placements, loaded schematics, and load schematics. So, these are dealing with schematics you have in your schematics folder. This spot, the area editor, area selection, um, these are for making your own schematics. And then these other projects are things that we don't really use. The configuration menu, if you have settings you want to change, you can go in here and change them. But for now, we are going to click M and go to the load schematic. So this goes in uh, opposite order of what we want to do. We have to load the schematic, which then makes loaded schematics, and then we edit the placement. So let's load schematics. And you can see I only have the Pikachu that we uh, had in the folder before. So uh, anything that is dot lightmatic will be an L, a blue L. Anything that is dot schematic will be a red S like this. And uh, it doesn't matter. They will both function just fine in this mod. So we want to select Pikachu, and it'll tell you who made the schematic. So Pikachu schematic by Dad Can Learn. Created. This is when it was created, so July uh, second, and uh, there's only one region. There is 941 blocks um, total with a volume of 4,752 blocks, and then these are the dimensions. So this is, I believe, it goes uh, width, height, and then like oh, sorry, length, height, width. Yeah, so anyway, don't really need much of this, but that's just kind of what all this means. You can click Load Schematic, and it'll say, Schematic Pikachu.Lightmatic successfully loaded to memory. Placement created. So if we back up a little bit here, 
Oh, well, let you look at that. It's Pikachu. And so now let's say, well, I don't want him over there. I want Pikachu over here, and I want his feet touching the floor. So you can either click M and then click Schematic Placements, or you can click M and P at the same time. And here we go. Manage Schematic Placements. You're going to find Pikachu, and you're going to click Configure. Placement Origin is how we're going to control him. So, uh, obviously, um, clicking with left click, it says it right here. Left click increases this value. Right click decreases the value. So, let's say I want to move him directly in front of me. Well, I can either type, so I can do, maybe I want it minus 50. Nope, I want it more. I want it minus 70. Okay, that's where I want it. Or I can just spam right click. Now, for the Z value, same thing. I can move him closer to me, move him further back. I can type it. And then, also, I'm just going to get in a better position here. But, MP, Y value down. So, we're going to decrease it. And there we go. So, now Pikachu has his feet squarely on the ground here. And these are little things from when we took the schematics. Um... But yeah, so now Pikachu's on the ground. So now, in creative mode, you can go up to Pikachu and uh, middle mouse click to, you know, like do a selection process. Um, if you don't, then you can just, you know, get the materials however you see fit to get the materials. But I'm going to just like build a little bit of them. And you can see that right now it's blue. As I place it in, as I place in the proper block, it'll turn black. If I place in the wrong block, it turns red and if I place in the right block but maybe the wrong orientation so like I place let's say somewhere in the schematic there's stairs that need to be going this way but when I put the them in I place them this way it turns orange but you know you're doing things right if the schematic turns uh, just acts like the schematic isn't there where you place the block anymore and this is how you build with schematics. You just build with them. That's it. Uh, there are ways to do it layer by layer. I usually just keep the whole thing loaded unless it's like some crazy weird build where I don't want to do that. But yeah, there are ways to do it layer by layer. There's a bunch of different things that you can do. Oh yeah, if you put something in the schematic area that shouldn't be there, uh, but there's no block. So like it's not the wrong block. Like this is air, but this is still in the schematic. It turns it pink. Um, but yeah, so that is how you build and load schematics. Hopefully you guys found this helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe. Uh, I will be doing more mod tutorials most likely in the future. Also, if you have any questions about the schematic mod, please feel free to go to my website, igamer2003.weebly.com. Uh, I have a help desk. You guys can send me a request for help. You may also reach out to me through my YouTube Discord server. Email me at expandingthechunks at gmail.com or DM me on Instagram or Twitter, igamer2003yt underscore yt. All right, that is it for now, everyone. Hopefully, once again, you found this helpful, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!